bed is the grave in here. We should get the power generator going again. Might cheer up the place. Give these little fellas a wide berth, Captain.
Oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop... I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station's security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. Hmm. That should have been fixed by now. As you say, we'll just head out then. Safe travel, soldier. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. I bet you say words have power. You proved them true. Lively, Captain. Fourth.
four, C, two, five, four, seven. Grade rated contaminants. Job done. We can go home to the ship, right? I've been missing Ada fierce. Hold on, Tick. Don't we know Shotrek from Cascadia?
Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Please avoid dancing. Imagine yourself or others while you are out. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I'll have those dismantled. You can never be too careful when moving into someone else's territory. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. That's right. Up until now, I've kept you in the dark for your protection, and more importantly, mine. But I'd like to think we've earned each other's trust. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Maybe the worst. Ask yourself. Why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. This doesn't feel at all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. 
conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nucleon with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Probably nothing to worry about, as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing down time. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. You don't even want to know why for? This keycard will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything, Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Is it done? I see. If you need directions to Byzantium, it's the big fancy one. Can't miss it. She's a traitor to her species. I'll rest easy once I know she's dead. Easier, anyway. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in Sisty Pig juiciness. And now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want, a promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. I'm on a low patience, high stress diet at the moment, Captain. What is it?
BNP Boston Bank Team. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Since we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Which brings us to where we are today, several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, well, I was thinking you'd come too. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. You're the boss. Anything else? Something about this Harlow guy isn't on the up and up. Yeah, but I usually mean it as a compliment. The way Harlow was leaning on his revolutionary bona fides, not to mention his knowing Felix back in the day, something about it feels off. And you're acting like those things are normal. Preferences and drinking buddies are normal, inclinations and acquaintances even. You can fit most of what drives people onto a bit cartridge. The minute someone claims highfalutin notions, they're either lying to you or lying to themselves. Or worse. Good. I don't really do subtle. Anything else? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. I 
I knew a doctor like him once. He had a patient complaining of ankle pain, so he amputated the man's foot. Wasn't even the right one. Point is, good intentions don't count for shit. And nothing's more dangerous than a crusader with a cause. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Exactly. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders, so I probably don't need to tell you this, but look out for yourself. No one else out here will. Don't mention it, just speaking from experience. Anything else? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules, and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. I was a top-tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without ten people signing off first. That's no way to live. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon, but really, it's just paste. Everything's polish and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. Don't trust anyone, don't touch anything. And whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Interesting like a colonoscopy. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks' idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Lots of them, unfortunately. I even sculpted a few. Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. That's what I've been saying. Good luck, Captain. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Shh. No names, okay? The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in his estate, which is heavily guarded. A 
afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh, seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really.
Move along. Move along. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Want to be famous? Kill you quickly. According to local legend, if you walk around the orrery three times, your corporate rival will die of a paper cut. You think I'd get arrested if I climbed up on that to get a look at the gearings? Nah, probably just shot. Hortense yells at me about me. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Sure, they look fancy, but inside they're just marble and existential emptiness. The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. Oh, carry on then. Uh, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have worked with Constable Reyes. Is this a Byzantium thing? get the urge to just hawk one on the floor? your business. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Anti-Clio, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. Adjutant Akande is expecting you. She's in her office. Adjutant Akande has instructed me to expect someone of your description. You'll want to check in with Mr. Percival Platt, her assistant. Please don't miss your appointment. Tardiness reflects poorly on all of us. So what if those MSI students need to know who aren't our school I can do it. Easy. Our UDL security attendant is always at their end. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. 
You sure have been busy. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Well, how nice for you. Do you have any idea how long it takes to request new forms? Or how many citations I'll get for impeding HHC business in the meantime? It's probably all those mercenaries Ms. Akande's been hiring. I swear, it's someone new every day, and each of them with enough guns to seize a small moon. Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs, and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny, and they'll paint the walls with your guts. I see you haven't been shot to pieces by the guards. Do you have an appointment? Of course. You're that curious spacer Mr. Bedford mentioned. Just a moment, please. Madam Adjutant, Bedford's contact has arrived. Shall I clear your schedule? No, thank you, Percival. I doubt this will take long. I'm Sophia Akande, adjutant to the chairman. Yes, Hawthorne, or whoever you really are. I've been reading all about you. This dossier from Emerald Vale was especially engrossing. You know the location of Dr. Phineas Wells. I'm interested, but I'm not yet sure I can trust your information. You have potential, but as an investment, you're also a risk. I'd like to take you for a trial run. I have a job for you. One of our cartographers needs to be retired. I want you to carry it out. The opportunity to become the board's most valuable freelancer and all the perks that come with it. Rachel Lockwood, cartographer for the Bureau of Exploration. She's done some sensitive work for us, but now she's a loose end. Lockwood has to go. Get rid of her. Bring me her work. Then we'll talk about Dr. Wells. Don't take too long. There's another freelancer working this job. He doesn't have your skill, but nonetheless... We've hired outside contractors before. There's another freelancer working this job, but he's been dragging his heels. Dependable and competent freelancers are hard to come by. For your own sake, I hope you prove to be the exception and not the rule. I'll tell you what I can. It isn't as if we're executing Lockwood for mislabeling a river on a map. It isn't what she's done, but what she knows that forces our hand. The nature of Lockwood's work was sensitive, confidential, and concerns the future of Halcyon. I can't risk leaving her alive. I'm asking you to serve the colony. Silencing Lockwood will save lives and preserve the peace. The board has a lot of problems. The absence of competent security is just one. I'm the chairman's adjutant, not his sycophant. I can't serve the board if I'm blind to our own mistakes. What Halcyon needs is people of integrity. People who act out of a sense of duty rather than fear. 
I hope you're one of those people. Let's not mince words. Wells is a dangerous criminal and a lunatic. He's earned every bit of his bounty. I know you're eager to collect on that bounty. Deal with Lockwood, then we'll talk. Excellent. Percival will handle your paperwork for you. <laughs> 